Celadon, drivers, get away! Get away now! You feel the weight and then you burst through the struggles! There is a flesh with the heart of a lion! We will build the war! Celadon, drivers, why are you still there? Go! Go away! What is it like to be that PR person? You know, what is it like to be that social media person? Come work for Celadon. In the meantime, you know your job's fixing to go away. You're putting in applications for somewhere else before you hit the unemployment line. Why do I see drivers still going to Celadon orientations? Why do I see that when, when the company is, what, a week or two away from just going under like that? I remember Arrow back 10 years ago was it 2006 7 or 8 or something like that drivers were getting stuck in truck stops they were freaking stuck and we didn't have facebook back in the day i think facebook was probably around but it wasn't as big as what it is that was back in the myspace days and but you hear all on the radio on the satellite radio trucking news that all these drivers were stuck fuel cards shut off the company wouldn't answer their phone. <laughs> the office employees were locked out. And you got all these drivers stranded. Is Celadon next? Is Celadon going to be that next situation? Obviously, I think social media wise, we're in a better situation. We could use Facebook and get the news out saying, hey, so and so stranded over here. Let's help them out. Celadon and Swift are kind of like two things that are almost kind of somewhat parallel a little bit how they would buy all these companies out I mean you would see all these associations with uh, USA truck um, Tango Transport they bought out Tango Transport our Tango Transport they bought from Shreveport Louisiana they bought for their contracts and guess what they did to Tango Transport they put a for sale sign in front of their terminals, a for sale sign in front of their corporate office, and guess what? All those trucks went away. And eventually those customers became other people's customers and Celadon went away. What was the whole point of that? Just like Swift. Swift buys out all these companies. That's how Swift got big. They bought out MS Carriers. They bought out Central. They bought out all these other companies. And now look at them. I had to merge with Knight because they're in trouble. You guys are watching this because either you're a Celadon driver or you're looking into going to Celadon. I wonder what that company is telling you if you're working for them. Are they telling you that, hey, sit tight, your job is fine here? Obviously, they have to tell you that. That's some PR person telling you that. That way you could go take that load. But guess what? Guess what? That time's a ticking. You've got corrupt people running that company you need to get out of there to the new drivers looking up celadon looking up say hey i want to go work there because you haven't heard you're not paying attention to the news you're just wanting to get into the trucking industry somehow celadon's fixing to go under ignore them you could go work for a lot of companies a lot of companies bella floor the company i work for is accepting applications check us out I saw a picture on Facebook uh, that Celadon posted. They had their uh, truck at an elementary school showing off their truck. And this is when all this stuff is crazy stuff's going on at Celadon. And and it's like, like nothing's happening. Let's totally ignore it. And they're hoping the drivers are paying attention. Sadly, drivers are paying attention to what the page is saying. Oh, nothing's going on. Nothing's going on. I've seen sell it on Facebook groups. It's totally in denial. Totally in denial. Oh, we'll get out of this. We'll just get out of this because our bosses tell us we're going to get out of this. Let's see what happens, folks. Yeah. How about not? How about you just get out of there now? See why cover your assets. Get out of there. Go to a reputable company. Yeah, Celadon used to be a reputable company. They're not anymore. And some people are saying, oh, stock prices are coming back up. That's because people are seeing that it's so low. They're thinking that maybe they could go and 
tweak it a little bit and maybe it'll come out. They've dropped too much for them to come back. They have dropped too much. They're, they're done. They are freaking done. It's arrow waiting to happen. And drivers, you do not want to get caught up in that. Take care of your families. Take care of yourself. Don't put yourself in a situation. Let's not have arrow happen again. It's time for the drivers over there at Celadon to pay attention to what's going on and get the heck out of there. My name's Ike Stevens, 73. It's my quarterback. One last game, one last game, one last